Badminton because it's the start of the Para Badminton World Championships. Goes through all the way until Sunday. And the even better news, if you want to come and have a look, is the tickets are absolutely free. There are various different classes, six of them, some in wheelchairs. And the way that they do this, it, it allows the athletes to compete against athletes with similar impairments. First time that these championships have been run in parallel with the standard world championships. Well worth a watch if you get the chance. One sport, one team is the philosophy. So back to uh, our coverage of court one today. Three matches in. And that was a fascinating men's singles that saw eventually the demise of Lin Dan after he apparently fought back and put himself in a good position. But not the case. So we move on to a men's doubles contest. It's a, a Russian-Malaysian affair. Very experienced uh, pair, Ivanov and Sozanov. Here's the where the draws worked out. So they're going to play the third seeded uh, Japanese pair, Kimura and Sonoda, the winners of this match. All the uh, seeds getting a buy through until the second round, which is effectively the round of uh, uh, 32. You can see considerably more experience. <laughs> the Russians than their uh, Malaysian opponents. Not because, I mean, they're not massively older, it's just that uh, obviously Arif and uh, Ezrin haven't played as many matches together. They're a, a newer pairing. Just the 60 in total compared to more than 400 for the Russians who have been playing together for a long, long time. More than a decade. Players coming out on court. Officials uh, already there to greet them. Russian pair. Just the one previous match that came at the Russian Black. Open. There's a, an irony here. Uh, Arif and Nazrin won that, and they went on to win the title. Vladimir is good to serve. Ivanov and Sosanov have won that title seven times. These guys are the current holders. So this Vladimir Ivanov, six foot six he is. 32 years of age now, 27th in the world. They were as high as seven about 18 months ago. Double Olympian in London in 2012 and Rio four years later. And uh, European champions way back in 2014. The partner Ivan Sozanov, who's a couple of years younger than his partner. Their big, big win was the All England three years ago. A lot of points, a lot of money, a lot of prestige in that event. Mohamed Arif at uh, 37, uh, 39 ranking, uh, rather. They were up as high as 29. That was only in April. He's actually won a couple of singles challenge events, uh, Mohamed Arif. And his partner is Nur Mohamed Ezrin. The 
have got one tournament win, or he has. He lost in the final of uh, Osaka, the Osaka International event last year. Andre Ciappini from Italy is in the chair for this one. Ready to play. Philip Chi from the States is the service judge. So stand by them for the um Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Vladimir Ivanov, Ivan Sotonov, Russia. And on my left, Latif Arif, Ayub Azrin, Malaysia. Vladimir Ivanov to serve to Arif Azir. Level play. Oh, yeah. Great save. <laughs> Suspect the Russians are going to try and assert themselves wow. early here in this uh, doubles match. Even over the Sozanov. Change. Yeah. They're known for. Uh, Going really, really um, sharp for the initiative in the service situation, the attack. To laugh. But um, as you said, Malaysians having the head-to-head uh, -head advantage, so um, we know that they have excellent uh, racket skills of Malaysians. Service over. A reef. One, the, two. Uh, serving with his um, black stockings on was part of the Malaysian Thomas Cobb team in 2008. So quite some three, fuss about it. Was, they were playing as independents and had to give up sponsors to join the national team and he was selected for Thomas Cobb as one of the three best men's doubles. Um, one of the six men's doubles players but Shortly after Thomas Cup, they were told to leave again, uh, to leave the national uh, practice. So, um, I'm not entirely happy with that, that decision. That's the Malaysians game. And quick flat game and follow up. Lots of... Um, Four. Movement in between the two players, Three. really good at covering the court. Asreen and uh, Arif. Sosuna very often it's um, Five, two. him who is uh, the deciding factor in terms of uh, when he's playing well. The whole play pair is playing well when he's making um, too many errors or not able to um, win the uh, battle for the front court. They are left. Just caught a piece left. of uh, Azrin's racket. But nowhere near it really in terms of getting it back. Service over. 
three, five. Challenge from uh, Azreen. Azreen challenges. Pretty quick challenge as well. In. So this might be uh, quite adjacent. The shuttle was called in. And straight away, Malaysians said, OK, let's check the technology. It's coming momentarily. For too many really lengthy rallies with these two pairings. <laughs> no, not if uh, Susanov and Ivanov can prevent it. <laughs> Won't see too many so over this, I don't imagine. Six, seven. Defense from Tom and there. Nine, six. That's one point. Ten, Such an imposing. Feel they're both six. imposing figures at the net, even of Ensos not. So first blow in anger, really. 11-6 uh, at the mid-game interval. The Russians in control thus far.
Eleven six. Play. Missed that one. Riff. Push it long. Thirteen. Six. Just looking a little bit out of their depth at the moment, Arif and uh, Hazarin. He's been serving extremely well, Sosanov, and that sort of has kept them in check. The Malaysians. Service over. Seven. Thirteen. He's the only eight minutes played, so it's been uh, going exactly as Ivanov and uh, Sosanov hoped for. Attempt on a flick serve there. It was not an attempt, it was a flick serve. But, uh, probably hope for a little bit better outcome. Oh, oh that's nicely done. Eight. Thirteen. Service over. 14. Eight. Great defense from Ivanov. They're having to work so hard just to win a, a point, Eric. No. 14. Over. Good from Azrin at the Ten. net. Change. 15. Needs to do more of that. the way the Russians are playing the men's doubles. Short rallies, a little bit like um, Hassan Sichuan and um, Vladimir. Sukhumuri and Gideon, all other Sarvizova. comparisons aside. 11, but uh, 16. they're not keen on playing long rallies. Just keeping, well, a small foothold in this first game, the two Malaysians. Yeah, it's not entirely out of the question that they could steal it. Well, that was never coming back. Sozanov, meaning business at the net. 70, 12.
Elke Toi. Looks to have all but secured the opening game for the Russians, who've been impressive, both of them. Goes long, and here are eight game 20. points. Game point, 12. Game. First game won by Vladimir Ivanov, Ivan Sozov, 21-12. Be very, very happy with that. The Russian pair, comprehensive uh, winners of that opening game, 21 12. And food for thought for the Malaysians to try and come up with some kind of plan to get back into this. At the moment, Russians in control. So let's find out if the Malaysians have got a plan B here. Level. He's going to need to find something, some way to turn the momentum of this match around. One. Love. Save is over. One. All. Certainly. All the power has come from the Russians so far. Oh! And those are the kind of mistakes they can't afford to make, Two. really. Yeah, a mysterious One. mistake. Normally they have such great touch. The roof and uh, the Three, one. Oh. 
サービスオーバー。There from、uh, Azreen. Three. Good point from the coaches.、Oh. Yeah, all them down in the end. It's symptomatic of the pressure they've been put under. Thank you. <laughs> It looked as though Arif was almost enjoying the fact he was suddenly playing singles against a doubles pair. Please, on court. Quickly. Sosanov. Great work from Ivanov. Five, four. They seem relaxed. It's not very often we see. It. Lutin and、uh, Maro are like that. Six, four. That's a great angle. Out of nowhere, really, from. That's real. Six. Whoa! Fantastic interception. Six. At the net. Oh. They go for it. There's some misses as well、uh, from whoever's、uh, the front court player. At the The occasion, but、uh, you've got to do that in order to、uh, be dangerous、Whoa! on the front court. Seven, six. Let's get Leon. Service return position afterwards. Watch each other. Watch each other. Okay.
<laughs> well, he couldn't have done much more, could he? <laughs> playing on his knees and playing pretty well on his knees. Not enough to win the point, though. Thank you. Please, Russia, on court. Nine, seven. and coaches. Nine. So cream. I'm doing Latif and uh, Rashid Sidik. That was a glorious chance because they'd worked the opening and just went long and some way long. Line of defence. Thank you. Change. Could be a massive uh, turning point that. 11 8 would have been. As it is, Nine, back to just a single ten. point in it. Oh. So it will be the Russians who have the advantage. 11 9 at the mid game interval. What the court, please. lot left in this match yeah it feels like if the Malaysians can raise their game just a little bit then they're definitely in it and I mean they're in it already now Eleven all. just feels like they've become you know more aggressive particularly in the second game they were in the first the Russians have had to do a lot more defending Can't afford to miss those kind of shots, though. 
mentioned earlier that there were some good interceptions as well from the front court player and of course it's a lot to do with the quality of the Russian uh, oh. flat game there if they can keep a high quality good quality in the flat game so that the overall percentages is at a deficit for the Malaysians then the Russians don't mind that they intercept once in a while as long yeah. as they're making a sufficient amount of mistakes Straight points for even <laughs> from Sosanov. Just put them back in control now. Yeah, and suddenly what we discussed three rallies ago is um, looking a bit more unlikely. But that one was exactly what they needed. Arif and uh, Asri. Fourteen. It's a nice three-point cushion, especially when you've got the first game in the back. 15-12 for the Russians. half an hour on court and the Malaysians have a problem here because they've gone off the boil at just the wrong time wouldn't be denied eventually the pressure told and this is looking good now for Ivanov and Sosanov. This isn't quite over. Sixteen, seventeen. All of a sudden, the fight back is on here from the Malaysian pair. Uh, maybe they've um, felt too secure, the Russians. <laughs> yeah. 
Sosomov, Ivan Sosomov. Please change the shovel. <laughs> Yeah, good interception. They've done really well in the attack. Yeah, it's expected, but that's sometimes where they're lacking a little bit um, in terms of uh, getting the wins. Uh, so, so no, and even they've been really good at following up, um, not let the Malaysians play back at them from a defensive position. Well, that was well picked off. 70. 19. Good angels. Done with, yeah. 18. Yep. 19. Just a little bit of build up of pressure now. On the two Russians, they had 19-16 all over by the shouting. Now they're just a wow. point ahead. Flat zone. Yeah. So two match points for Vladimir Ivanov and Ivan Sosnov. Thank you. And if they should win, they actually have a 3-1 head-to-head -head record against Kamura and Sonoda, the third seeds, the silver medalist from Change last year. So that would be an interesting match as well. Yeah, I don't imagine they would particularly want to play no. even Ov and Sosnov. No, definitely not. Not quite yet, that, that, yet though. Service over. This could easily 90, turn 20. around the service mistake, service error, uh, service return error from Sosanov, and then we'd be totally equal here in the second game. Second match point then for the Russians. Good service return. There was no service error, they followed it up, and they are through 21 19. In the second game, even Ivan Sosanov, it was an improved performance from Arif and uh, Azarin in that second game, but not improved enough. Just 36 minutes on court. And they rather wore down their opponents. Just made fewer errors, I think. That's what it came down to in that second game, particularly. Arif and Azarin threatened a late comeback, but it didn't materialise. That was the moment that confirmed their progression through to the last 32. <laughs> I think he's quite pleased about it too. High fives and hugs everywhere, 21-12. 21-19 in 36 minutes on call. <coughs>